And this is why Allah Almighty has celebrated Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu in a special way. In a special way. He put his beloved, the most beloved, alayhi salatu wasalam, into hardships. From the time he received prophethood, and he came down from the cave, Gharu Hira, and started giving da'wah in Mecca, and abuse started coming unto him. Hadrat Fatima radiallahu cried when she saw him this, in this condition. After being always clean and tidy and nicely combed hair for 40 years, and now he's disheveled. Dusty, running, sweating. He's not sitting comfortably like Hadrat Isa al -Salam, doing all these miracles. And she says to him, Oh, my father, what has happened to you? Look at all these troubles on you. He says to her, La rahata li abiki ba'da liyawm. After today, there is no rest for you, Father. This is the special status and condition that Allah Almighty puts His beloved in. In Isra and Mi'raj, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala showed His celebrations with Muhammad <laughs> He raised him with the ladder of jewels and diamonds through Al-Buraq and Jibreel <laughs> cutting through the heavens in a flash greeted by high angels things that never happened to any other prophet <laughs> crossing heaven after heaven until after the seven heavens and Sidratul Muntaha, and then even further than Sidratul Muntaha. Things that never happened to any other prophet. But when he comes down, alayhi salatu wasalam, he understands that his posi position, alayhi salatu wasalam, is to remain poor and hungry. Poor and hungry. Not to act like a king, or a big leader, or a miracle holder. No. After Mi'raj, he remained that poor person, that people push away, people spit at his blessed face, people stone him, and the angel of mountains comes down and say, Oh Muhammad, I am the first time coming to the world. Just order me and I'll do whatever you wish. Crush these people under the mountains. And he says, No. Maybe if they do not accept me, their children will. is treated in a special way. Miracles, walking on water, flying in the air, reviving the dead, are nothing. They are nothing. To Allah Almighty, what is a miracle? Is turning dust into dust. But the miracle of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu is to change the world while remaining poor and hungry. <laughs> remaining in that condition. If he was a great leader, a rich man, with the mountains of Mecca running in gold under his feet, then everybody would say, yes, he succeeded in his dawah because he was wealthy. He had control over Arabia. 
And that's why he managed to overcome Persia and Rome. Yes? It's what history would have said. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to treat Sayyidina Muhammad in a special way. And again and again, Allah Almighty sends him the options. Just to show the world, Allah subhanahu wa already knows what's in the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad. But to show the world, he says to him, the angel comes down and says to him, Oh Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, do you want to be a prophet king or a poor messenger? What do you want to be? And he says, no, I want to remain a poor messenger. But I remain hungry whenever Allah doesn't give me. And if he gives me, I just give thanks. Until the time of his blessed departure from the world, he remained poor and hungry. And even his own armor were in ransom with a Jewish person. He gave it as a loan so he can buy food from him the money he gets from the Jew. This is the highest that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to any prophet or man. So whenever you want to glorify Muhammad, show the world what he did while remaining poor and hungry. Show the world. In England you are here celebrating him. He didn't come here, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But he made sure that you come here. It is not up to you. You did not leave your countries by choice to celebrate him here. So he made causes for you to force you to come out. To come here, to America, to Russia, to South Africa, everywhere. His name is praised. All that through remaining hungry and poor. He changed the world. So who's greater? Sayyidina Muhammad or Prophet Isa alayhi salam? Or Prophet Musa alayhi salam? In, the, in Isra, in Jerusalem, all of them, these prophets Ali Musasalam, stood like this. Hands, like we pray, and head down while he passed. To lead them in prayer. They understand, the prophets Ali Musasalam, understand his position. Yes, he's wearing simple clothes. He's not like King Dawood and King Sulaiman He's is not performing miracles, comes humbly, but they know that he's their leader, he's their master. From him they take light of guidance to their nations. From Muhammad And when he turn, returns to dunya, he remains sleeping on straw mats. 